Hi everyone, my name is Miss Yvonne. So today I'm gonna teach you how to make these, the Millennium Falcon Origami. So if you're interested, then let's get started. So before we get started, let me first show you what you will need for this craft. Of course, a piece of paper, and then just a pen, that's it. So this origami can be a little bit difficult. I'm gonna pull you in and then you can see what I'm doing over here. And if you don't want to follow the video, I do have a step-by-step -step instruction and I will link it down on the description box for you so that you can also follow the instruction or you can follow this video. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pull you in. Okay, so first you will need a square paper. If you don't have one, it's okay. Just grab a letter size paper and then fold a triangle like this. And then this top part we don't want, so just fold it. And you can take a pair of scissors to cut it out. I'm just gonna tear it. And now you have your square paper. So now you already fold a triangle like this. You're just gonna open it up and do the same thing on the other side. And now you should have a big X on your paper. So now you're gonna fold this part in but not to meet the center. And then do it like this. And then you will repeat the same thing on the other side. And now you can see the two line you just created. Now you want to fold it down, meeting the bottom of the line, just like this. And then you'll fold it down. and open it up again. You're gonna see a little triangle here. So just fold it down like this and the other half as well, like this, and then fold it down. And then you're gonna open it up to the side, just like this and repeat the same step on the other side. So you will get something like this. And then when you're done, you're gonna move this triangle up again, all the way to the top. And then this one as well. So you will get this like ear shape thing over here. The next step is to fold the bottom to the top to meet the bottom of the triangle here. Like this. And you will see the little line you created over here. Here and here. So you're gonna fold this part in. like this, and then follow the line you created earlier, and you're gonna fold this part in as well. So you will get something just like this. And then the next step, do you see the pointy part here? We're gonna fold it in. So the pointed part here, fold it in, 
But here you don't want to meet the middle line here. Almost meet the line over there, but you fold it like this. And you get this shape. And then you open it up. You see the top part here? We're gonna tuck this part in, just like that. And then put it back. You should have something like this. And then for the other side, you take the top part up and you repeat the same thing as the other side. So you fold this part in, but don't meet, meet the middle line. Almost to the middle, but not quite. And then you put this top part back over here. So now you're gonna do a folding like this. So you're gonna fold down this part like this and then fold it up again like this. So this part is a little bit hard. I'm gonna show you again. Fold it down like this and then fold it up again over here like this. And now you have these two pointy side. You're gonna fold it down halfway just like this. And you're gonna tuck it in. So open it up, tuck it inside and then fold in again, just like this. And this part as well, open it up, tuck it inside, and fold it. And you should have something like this. And then, do you still see this pointy part? We're gonna fold it in like this. And you're gonna open it up and take this top part up and tuck this part in. Put it back and fold in. And now you can turn to the back. It should be something just like this and you're done. So the very last part is to decorate it. I'll show you how I decorate my Millennium Falcon but you can do whatever you want. You can pull up a picture of Millennium Falcon and draw whatever you want. So I'm just gonna draw something like this. And there you go, you have your own DIY Millennium Falcon. My name is Miss Yvonne and I hope you enjoyed this craft and I'll see you next time. Bye!